Welcome to PowerPoint Academy. Today, we're about to elevate your presentation game with a dynamic and eye-catching design. Follow along as we create a set of visually stunning slides featuring hollowed-out image groups, circular thumbnails, and sleek text displays that will instantly captivate your audience, follow me and let's create it together. First, we will go to pexels.com where we'll download six high-resolution images to serve as the foundation of our presentation. Once downloaded, we'll insert these images into a blank presentation, then crop them to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Duplicate the slide 5 times, and delete the images from all slides except the first one. Go back to the first slide, and duplicate the images, now we have two lines of images, one group will form the background, while the other will will transform into stylish circular thumbnails. Cut the first image, right-click the slide, select Format Background, then select Picture or Texture Fill and click Clipboard. Repeat the process to have each slide with a different background. Go back to the first slide and insert a rounded rectangle, make it round at the top and the bottom. Next, duplicate the rectangle for a total of six. Position them one next to another, select all, distribute horizontally then align to middle. Select all the rectangles, right click, add a shadow effect, select offset center, the adjust transparency and blur. Go to Shape Options, select No Line and Slide Background Fill. Insert a rectangle and stretch it to the size of the background and remove the outline. Then, right-click, select Format Shape and choose Gradient Fill. Delete the two bars in the middle of the gradient stops, set the left and right bars to black and set the transparency of the right bar to 100%. Next, set the direction to linear right. Finally, right-click the rectangle and select Send to Back. Select the rectangle with gradient fill and the rounded rectangles, copy and paste them in the other slides. Adjust the length of each rounded rectangle to make them staggered. Select all rounded rectangles, select arrange in the top menu and align middle. Then adjust the length of the rounded rectangles on each slide and align to middle. Go back to the first slide, in the second group of images, click the first image, go to Picture Tools, select Crop to Aspect Ratio 1 to 1, redo the same for the other images. Select all images, choose Crop to Shape, and choose Circle, set the size to 3 cm, then adjust their positions to the left of the slide. Set the size of the circle with the image of the first slide to 6 cm and adjust the position. Paste your text, choose your font, change the size and center to middle. Repeat the same operation for the remaining slides. Finally, select all slides and add a morph transition and enjoy the masterpiece you've just crafted. By following these steps, your PowerPoint presentation is sure to leave a lasting impression. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative PowerPoint insights. Until next time, stay inspired, keep designing, see you in the next tutorial.